This is Channel 2 News at noon. Good afternoon. The alleged mastermind of the World Trade Center bombing is headed back to New York at this hour. Federal sources say he escaped overseas, but now he is under arrest. We have team coverage for you, beginning with Channel 2's Reggie Harris, who has the latest from Stewart Air Force Base, where the flight is expected to land this afternoon. Reggie. Expect it, Lisa, but at this moment, there's no obviously unusual security activity here at Stewart Airport. Used to be a former air base a few years ago, but it is believed that the alleged ringleader for the World Trade Center bombing, 33-year-old Mahmoud Abu Halima, is en route, airborne, and headed here from Egypt. Abu Halima is an Egyptian native who authorities believe fled the United States on March 6, two days after Mohammed Salami, the first suspect to be arrested, was picked up. Investigators believe Abu Halima went first to Johannesburg, South Africa, then to Egypt, where he was arrested, we're told, in a crackdown on Islamic fundamentalists. We caution now, FBI officials have confirmed only that there has been another arrest, arrest but refuse to say who that person is or even if the arrest was made in Egypt. However, it's not unusual that accurate information is not officially confirmed immediately. We believe that Abu Halima is being returned on a U.S. military flight so they don't have to file a flight plan, don't have to notify for landing until they're very close. And that, that flight left sometime during the night, our time on the East Coast. We believe that when he does arrive in the uni United States, he will be sent back to Manhattan to the FBI headquarters downtown, 26 Federal Plaza, for processing first and then arraignment at uh, 40 Foley Square in the federal courthouse. And downtown in Manhattan is where my colleague Chris Borgen is standing by live. Well, Reggie, as you did say, the FBI will not confirm in so many words that uh, Abu Halima, in fact, is on that plane. But the fact is, they will confirm that a flight did leave from the Middle East and on board was a prisoner. And that prisoner is due in the United States sometime after 4 o'clock this afternoon. Now, whether or not that prisoner will land, that plane will land, at the Stewart Air Force Base, uh, that's problematical because with security being what it is and so much publicity about the Stewart Air Force Base possible landing, it is highly possible that the landing site might be changed, let's say, to McGuire or perhaps even to Teterboro for that matter. But nevertheless, once in the United States, Abu Halima will be brought for processing to the FBI building here at 26 Federal Plaza. And then after processing, he'll be brought across the street to the federal courthouse, at which time he'll be arraigned either tonight or sometime tomorrow. Investigators consider Mahmoud Abu Halima the mastermind behind the trade center bombing. Witnesses have identified the 33-year-old Egyptian-born Brooklyn cab driver as a constant visitor to the rented locker in Jersey City where the explosives were stored and where investigators say suspect Nidal Ayad, the 23-year-old chemical engineer, helped to assemble the bomb. Still, other witnesses have reported seeing Abu Halima the night before the bombing in the van which brought that bomb to the trade center. The driver of the van, suspect Mohammed Salama, alleged to have rented both the van and the storage locker. Now, Abu Halima, like suspects Salama and Ayad, are said to be associates of Sheikh Omar Abdel Rahman, the radical spiritual leader of the Masjid al Salam Mosque in Jersey City. Now, while investigators consider Abu Halima, who allegedly used his home in Woodbridge, New Jersey, to hold meetings with the other suspects, the major figure, the ringleader of the group, they see Sheikh Omar as the suspect's mentor, the spark. Sheikh Omar, ruled to have entered the U.S. illegally, has been ordered deported from the United States. While acquitted in 1981 for the murder of then-Egyptian President Anwar Sadat, the Sheikh is under an Egyptian arrest order to face a retrial on charges he incited his revolutionary followers during a 1990 anti-government riot to injure civilians and to attempt the murder of a police officer. Now, with the arrest of Halima, there is also uh, rumors to the effect that the FBI are looking for, actively looking for, and about to secure the arrest of two other suspects. If that is true, that will bring then to five the number of suspects directly linked to the bombing, and a sixth suspect, Ibrahim Egelbroni, who was arrested for slugging a federal officer in the search of his home. But there is reason to believe, as of this moment, that there is a grand jury session in which evidence will be presented, hopefully to end in the indictment of uh, Mr. Eagle Brony also putting him directly involved with the World Trade Center bombing. Well, that is in the future. As of this moment, we're all waiting for Abu Halima to come into the United States. Live from Foley Square, I'm Chris Borgen. Back to you in studio. All right, Chris, and we'll hear more from you at 5 o'clock.